don't smoke up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious because you hide behind a fake exterior. Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last and to believe in what you got. It was built to last, yeah. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a million mind games, but instead of say something not illogical, something that is topical. Rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable. Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage, and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. Slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior. Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last. And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Gonna learn the 
consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a million mind games, but instead of say something not illogical, something that is tactical, rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable, dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds. No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in. I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind. I gotta make it. I'm saving every day to taste it. I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it. I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages. I'm baking, modern kingdom for the taking. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. Hello and welcome to Climbing Justice. We're back again. <clears throat> well, well, well. When will this end? All this st stupidness. Right? I'm not saying that being what Seth is doing is silly. I'm not. I think he's got. They've got every right to do it. I really do. Right, but they're not listening. They're just not listening. Or if they are, their members aren't. You know what I mean? I haven't seen of any video where they put out about advising their members to stay away, do not contact. These people do not go on their sites, do not comment on their chats or anything. Do not go to their homes. I haven't seen nothing like that come out. And I thought I would have. There's a few panicking. Well, at least one panicking. <laughs> he's already set up a, a GoFundMe, apparently. In case he's took, in case he is named in this injunction. Even though his name was written in the injunction, he hasn't been named. He hasn't been served the papers or anything. His name is just in the injunction, along with other YouTubers. Right? But he's getting prepared already, and I'm thinking, why? Why? If you've had nothing to do with any of those channels, which I believe he doesn't, but then again, I don't know what he does in behind the scenes. Right? If he's had nothing to do with any of these channels, which I believe, I truly believe he's had nothing to do with any of these channels, why would, why would he be named? Apart from that one time when he highlighted a certain TikTok video, which we all saw. And... Even then, I thought, no, how? Because on that TikTok video, the host had a profile picture up, right? Like I've got here, sort of thing. He had a profile picture up on his TikTok. Yeah, apparently, somehow, a picture of a whatever you want to call it came up on it a shadow. Like one of them finger puppet things behind the screen. And you do sh shapes with your fingers with a light. A bit like that. I don't see how he could do that. I don't see how anyone has done that. So I really don't know how that how that came about or how, how that happened. Right? I really don't. And to be honest with you, I don't care. It happened, it's gone. Right? I'm not talking about it. Anyway, yesterday I mentioned, I did mention slightly how apparently some people are now going after the news channel too. Right? And leaving comments on there and whatever. Right? Well, Today, I get up this morning and I put my YouTube on. I'm sitting there drinking my coffee, trying to wake up before 
Well, I was mentally preparing myself to go out to the shops. Because I hate going to the shops. I really do. I go in, get what I need, get out. And that's why I love the self scans for at the shop I go to. Because there's no queues, right? There's no, like, many times before they put the self scans in, they'd be person on the checkouts. And they'd be yatting away to the person they were serving. And they're taking forever. And then you've got the person they are serving, that person, stacking, uh, packing the bags up at the till, even though there's an area where you can take your trolley to and pack your bags up there. And I'm thinking, oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. And several times I had put my, bas my basket down with my few items in it, put it down and walked out the store. Because I could feel that my anxiety building up. And, you know what I mean? I could really feel. So they put in the South scans. I thought, thank God. Just hope they don't play a part of what they're doing in Tesco's. That's another store we have in the UK. Their, their South scans were always playing up on me. Always, always, always. So first of all, I'd like to say a big hello to all those joining me from X. Good to see you here. Anyway, so I go up and I scan my stuff and I'm out of there. I am out. I'm in and out within, what, five, ten minutes at the most? Depending on how much shopping I'm getting. So I sat there this morning contemplating that trip to the shop. Drinking my coffee. And contemplating and contemplating. Then I thought, no, I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go today. I've got my grandson coming tomorrow. I haven't got time to do it tomorrow. And anyway, I was watching YouTube. And I seen someone come up. So I thought, okay, there's nothing new on. I'll watch this one. And um, she was talking about a certain news channel who works in Tennessee, who comes from Tennessee, right? And I thought, okay, what's happening here? I thought it was Channel 2 that was after. No, no, no. This channel apparently put out quite a bit of false information, bad information. They didn't do their checks before putting the story out. And I thought, well, they are mainstream media. They do anything for the views. They don't care whether they've got it right or not. They know people aren't going to sue them because they're, they're a big firm, big organisation, big company. They're not going to sue them for putting out misinformation. They don't care. It's a bit like our mainstream media here in the UK. You have um, a certain ethnic minority group where they won't talk about, they won't talk about them and all the trouble they still cause. But you have one English guy who's probably said some hurty words to police. Oh, and it's all over the newspaper. You know what I mean? So I hope your new mainstream media aren't going like that who are, who literally, I just feel they work for the government because it's like the government are telling them, this is what you can do, this is what you can't do, this is what you can report on, this is what you can't report on. So I don't listen to none of the mainstream media channels no more, haven't for a long time. And there was one channel I do watch and it comes on several times a day to update us on what's going on and he'll talk about everything everything what happened what's not like today he's talking about how and this isn't going to be good if it comes out true it's not going to be good for our prime minister because apparently he's been sending labor people over there over to the u.s going door knocking for Camilla Harris. 
don't know how true that is. But Trump has now put in an investigation about it. This is not looking good for our Prime Minister. But we, no one really likes him. They only voted for him because they didn't want the Conservatives thing again. Which was a big mistake to do that. They should have voted for reform or something like that. Because I knew Labour wouldn't be any good. I knew under that, that leaguer, they would not be who they are. They promised this, this and this. They said they wouldn't do this, they wouldn't do that. They're coming. First thing they do is, especially towards our pensioners, is stop the cold winter payment. To any of those who are not on a certain benefit. So you could be one penny over the limit and you won't get that benefit, right? You won't be entitled to that benefit if you're over a certain limit. So those people who may just be, what, £5 over, £10 over, will not get that winter fuel payment. So we're going to have a lot of people, pensioners, sitting in the cold or going without a meal just so they can put the heating on. Or not even because a lot of them have electric heating. Right? are all electric, so they've got electric storage heaters, electric cooker, stove and all that lot. So, they won't even be eating because it's too expensive for them to do that, to put them items on. And because they're not getting the winter fuel payment, they're going to go hungry as well, as well as cold, because they won't be putting the heating on. So, that's just my little rant of the day. I've got many rants about our MP and our Prime Minister, but I won't. I won't bore you with the UK problems. Anyway, we are looking at certain people, certain um, uh, certain mainstream media today, and we're going to be looking at the file version opposition that SF put in. We have looked at it, but I want to go over it again. Because sometimes the first time I might be rushing through it. And I must admit, I, th I believe the first time I was so angry reading it. It's just so angry reading it. I wasn't taking it in. I wasn't really taking it in. So I want to go over that again tonight. So, let's have a look to see what's been going on. First of all, we're going to play, I believe it's this one. Yeah. This is the one. Just make sure it's up. Yep. Yeah. Father of Missing Teen. And dog the banter hunter filed lawsuit lawsuit against influencers. Right? Now I agree with what he's doing. Well I'll tell you something, right? The other day someone commented on a post that I put up. Or I commented on a comment that I put up on a post on a Facebook page. As I said, I don't go onto these Facebook pages very often because I think there's too much, oh, too much going on, it's, right, anyway, she said, could she message me, like, and being UK time difference, it was like 12 hours when I seen the message, so I immediately wrote back to her, said, yes, please contact me, right, so she did, and then today we've been having a little chat on Messenger, and she's telling me about the white jeep, and how herself, I'm going, I'm going to, I'll pull it up what she said, but I'm not using names, I'm not using pictures. Right, because I said I will keep a name and a picture out of it. Because she's scared. And first thing I said when I read it was, have you contact? And she said, 
And before I could get that message to her, she said, I have contacted Doug, the bank owner, and Nick. I went, good. So when I can get it up, I will. Come on. Oh, God. Right. I'll open that up a bit more so I can read it better. Right. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm just, I'm getting there. She's going, hey, can I ask what your YouTube channel is? Right? So I did. I let her know. I sent the information telling her what my YouTube channel is and everything. And how I'm only a small fry compared to some of these. Right? And she went, okay, thank you. I think I may have figured out who the man is on Hong's security video. Well... But I don't think it's a good idea to put it out to put it out publicly yet because I'm concerned for certain people's safety who are also being followed, intimidated by this guy, and my own safety, my family's safety, if word gets out around. It was me that identified him. Well she hasn't told me who it was. Right, she hasn't. She tells me where she's from and it says she says, but uh, well done. But it seems this guy doesn't have an issue with doing some travelling. And she goes on to say, uh, well done. I've got to be careful what I say, so. And she spoke to someone else, where she lives. And they said, they'd seen a white truck creeping by their house. I said, this is just getting scary, not knowing what kind of people are involved in this or what kind of lengths I'll go to. And she said, I did send the info to Nick the dog's team, though, so hopefully they'll be able to sort out whether it's the same guy. Right, and she goes on to, and we were just talking in general then about the case. And I thought, oh, no. this, as far as I know, I've Right, this woman does. I don't believe she has a YouTube page. She didn't say anything about having a YouTube page or anything. I don't know how she's um, involved in this case. She hasn't said, but that is fine. Next time I might ask her, how are you involved in this case? She might tell me, she might not. But that is fine if she don't. Right? And it's just scary that there are other people out there who are scared for their own lives and their family. Right? And she don't want to say who she believes that guy is. Now, because of that... I said, I did say, well, um, word is, can't be confirmed, I said, that people are say, some people are saying it's SF investigates the guy at the house. Well, we was talking about this the other night, and I was saying on my live how the only photo we had was that one on his ex account, which is the same one, which is on, I believe, is the same one on his ID card for his PI. I said, we need an updated one. So then I realised, I thought, oh, hold on, I've got, we've got an updated one. So... I'm going, I'm going to put it here, put it on here. 
so you can see what I'm talking about. We've got, I managed to go, hold on, I should be on desktop. I'm just trying to find where I put it now. Uh, oh, God. Is it in here? Oh, where did I put it? Where did I put that picture? I'm flipping find it now, can I? Ah, oh, yeah. Right. And um, so this is the uh, have I got to take this down, remove. Come on. Hide. So so no, it's not going. It's not going to let me do it on that one. So let me try up here. Try it on this section. I'll try to put it on here because it's not let me do it on that one. There it is. Right, so oh, well, let's see if it'll show now. Show me, put it up there. Now, it's, I know it's not very clear because I've literally zoomed in and then cut, uh, altered it, uh, cut the picture down, right? Cropped the picture down. But you can see the features, right? This is a much wider face, he hasn't got his glasses on. And his beard, if he's got, a, if he has got a beard, which I, I'm not sure, it's a bit darker. But I don't think that is a beard. I think that's just a shadow. So, uh, because I have zoomed in, so you can see that is not. Hold on, let me get this person up. That is not this person. In my eyes, I don't think, I don't believe it is him. No, I need to find him now. I'm going to have trouble finding him now, aren't I? Oh, God, come on. You know what, it annoys me when I can't find something. But it isn't that guy. Right, it is not that guy. I'll try, keep looking for that guy. And so, we was talking. And that was it. So, we were just mainly talking about that guy and comparing pictures. And I said, no, 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 it isn't him. So isn't SF Investigates, the guy at Hong's house is not SF Investigates. Let's see if I can find in this folder. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. I'm going to have to start putting these photos up on like... Um, Gonna be in this folder or something because it's just annoying when you can't find it, you know what I mean? And I've just seen it a second ago. I literally while I was looking for that other picture, I've just seen it. 
sea... No, I can't find you. It's so annoying. Easy. Yeah, there it is. Right, I'm sorry, you got it, sorry. So, that wrong SF is not this guy. This guy's got a thinner face, a slow, sort of longer face, he's got a white, wispy sort of beard, or he hasn't shaved, he's got glasses, he's balding. Right, a bit like this guy here. Right. Bit like this guy. So I figured out it is an SF. So please anyone saying it's SF who's at Hong's house it's not because I've I have got even when you look at the picture in the original form, you can see it's not the same guy. Right, you can see it's not the same guy. So, but this woman here and this guy, after BHB gave her evidence or something, these two walked out, got up and walked out. Right now, I've been trying to find the video of that court hearing. If anyone had anything. And I've not been able to find anything and it's doing my head in. Right? So if anyone knows where I can find the video of the court hearing for this for the ball home betty, please let me know. Because I want to see. Because I'm going up by word of someone else that these two got up, this woman here and this guy here, both got up together and walked out together. Right? Now, if this guy is this guy, who is she to him? Or him to her? And does, does this guy, CP, know him or her? Right? I still think when I look at this, these shoulders look really padded. You know what I mean? Like there's some strapping or something there. It looks like it's got some sort of body vest on. Right? So, it wouldn't surprise me if he had. So, I don't know what you lot all think. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, Screw me off. Let's put this back up. Right, so we got this one, and this, they claim, now this was done, when was this done? Quite a bit a week ago now, or whatever. One day ago, apparently. This was one day ago. They claimed that a YouTuber and TikToker user have, have ob obstructed the search for Sebastian Rogers. Right? Now, in that the file, that opposition version, that SF put in, he states, well, law enforcement, Equisearch, and all these other search teams were not obstructed. No, they weren't. But private, everyday Joe blogs, right, out there searching, were. They've been threatened. They've had tires slashed. They've, you know what I mean? It's unbelievable what they've gone through. Yep. Yeah. And a lot of them backed away. A lot of them backed away. And I thought, fair enough, you, you know what I mean? You may have a family, so yes, back away. If that is so bad, then you've got to back away. You can't put your own life in danger.
even though you are looking for a 15 year old lad you can't do it you can't you gotta think of yourself as well your own family everything so a lot of them back to one because even though the complaints were putting being put in with law enforcement nothing was being done what a surprise especially if you put them in with some the county they're not going to do nothing because they pally pally as we've heard in that one report that Hong put when he asked to have a meeting with Chris well I have to get in touch with my friends in the law enforcement so he's got friends in the law enforcement so anyway Sebastian has been missing since February and was last seen at his home, family home, in Hendersonville. All right, I'm just showing you this because this is the run-up to everything that's gone on. Dog the bounty hunter joined the search for missing Sumner County teen Sebastian in September, adding 75000 to the reward for information. Last week he added 25000 more to the reward, which now totals 125,000. The lawsuit, because at first it was 50,000 by FBI, then they added 50,000, right? But now he's since added another 25,000, which has took it to 125,000. The lawsuit alleged that two influencers created a coordinated campaign of cyber harassment consisting of false allegations and witness intimidation. In the 323-page exhibit, yes, and we've gone through that whole 323 pages of exhibit and testimony, what more have they got? What more have they got? Right. So, right. oh, uh, Seth Rogers and Dog the Bounty Hunters investigative team claim that the influencers encourage their subscribers to flood tip lines and law enforcement with false reports. Threats to Dog's team allegedly caused the postponement of critical travel and coordination for search efforts. I don't know why, but we don't know what was said in the threats. We don't know actually know exactly what was said in the threats. Because I can't see Dog being scared by some trivial as a little threat. So it must have been something pretty bad. Right? A spokesperson for Seth said one of the influencers threatened to take him down. Now that's not quite right. Oh yeah, it is. A spokesperson for Seth said one of the, yeah threatened to take him down, and that would be Tony. I'm fighting against a coordinated group of individuals who seem more interested in destroying me than helping to find my boys, Seth wrote. If my son dies out there, they'll have blood on their hands. The testimonies go on to include references of stalking, online and in person harassment and express safety concerns. The lawsuit urged the defendants to discontinue any disparaging statements about the plaintiffs, remove any previous content that fits that description and ask their subscribers to follow their example. Right, they're not saying they cannot talk about Sebastian. They're not. Each YouTuber is different in their own way. Right? So, 
and they talk about a case. They could be talk about the same case, but talk about it in different ways. I have to rely on the mainstream media and what I hear on other YouTube channels because there's a lot of, because I'm in the UK, there's a lot of sites I am restricted to going, getting on, a lot of sites. So I'm looking at, not this year now, maybe next year, I'll pay, I'm going to try to pay for a VPN so that I can try and get this information. But I'll see how much it is first. Anyway, so let's carry on. A press conference was scheduled for Tuesday in Pennsylvania where the influencers reside to address the final lawsuit. But according to the Acknight Private Intelligence Agency, the conference was postponed to June. Reports of individuals arranging for a marching band, band to interrupt the conference, along with suspicious messages. Well, like I thought, I thought, why can't they do it inside the building, inside their building? What about inviting a group of mainstream media, right, to their offices in their conference room and giving the press release there? it wouldn't matter then if they had the marching band. Right? Unless they haven't got double glazing or soundproofing, it wouldn't matter. In a, oh, God, I'll catch you at it again. I swear to God. Hold on, hold on. Just had to read them the right act again. I might have to sit down with them and have it in writing when they're on my lap and read it to them when they're sitting on my laps. Anyway, in a letter included in the exhibit, the YouTuber's lawyer writes that the allegations are baseless and without legal foundation. In a letter included in exhibits, the YouTuber's lawyer writes that their allegations are baseless and without legal foundation. Oh! Hold on. What's young about there? I don't understand that bit. In a letter included in the exhibits, the YouTuber's lawyer wrote that the allegations are baseless and without legal foundation. What lawyer? What YouTuber? What exhibit? I didn't see nothing like that. Anyway, News 2 reached out to all parties involved, but I'd not heard back at the time of this publication. Right? So they've reached out to those two people named in this lawsuit, which is Barbecue Lady and I believe it's Granny's watching. Right. My cat was just doing something in the living room at the table and he's, he's just seen me watching him and he's just got down moaning. <laughs> anyway, so that was that one. Now we have this one. Look at the title. Private investigator responds to injunction from Sebastian Rogers' father, Dog the Bounty Hunter. What? That's wrong straight away. That is totally wrong. Where did you get that from? Dog the Bounty Hunter. Should that not be 
police in investiga private investigator responds to injunction from Sebastian Rogers' father, Seth Rogers. It doesn't, it says, private investigator, pardon me, I've got hiccups. Private investigator responds to injunction from Sebastian Rogers' father, dog, the bank hunter. Fact. Wrong. Right? Straight away, that is all wrong. Yep. Hendersonville, Tennessee, WSMV. Seth Rogers, father of missing 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers, recently joined Dwayne Dog Chapman, Chapman in filing a preliminary injunction against several people who have joined the search who have joined the search for the teenager. The injunction requests sites interference and obstruction as a reason for filing. One private investigator involved in the search, Stephen Fisher, filed a non-party opposition to the injunction request claiming he is actively engaged in the search for Sebastian and a preliminary and ultimate, ultimately permanent, permanent would undermine the real search for the boy. One private investigator involved in the search. One private investigator. No. There's several investig uh, several people out there, but how do we, they shouldn't say it as one private investigator involved in the search. They should say a private investigator involved in the search. Because we don't know if there's ever private investigators out there involved in the search. We don't know. Because that's what private investigators mean. Private investigate. You keep it private, you go and investigate. You do not go on YouTube, TikTok or all these other channels, right, network sites, and talk about it. I don't agree with these online private investigators. I really don't. They should not be out there. They should not be on any social network site. They should have a web page for their work, for their so that if they want, if people want to hire him, they can look at his web page, right? And see, and maybe have some endorsements on it from other searches he's done, from other families he's worked with. But they should not be on. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, not even Twitter, not even Twitter. My standing as a young party opposer in this case arises from the plaintiff's attempts to secure a preliminary and permanent injunction. Oh, hold on, I'm just going to play some play some music because oh, I've just got to get, go off somewhere. Just got to go. Right. <clears throat> Read that yourself, please, and I'll be right back.
Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. I said to go sort something out. Right, so. As you can see, everyone who's joined, we're talking about the uh, mainstream media. And it's all done. I've written down who it was. I did write it down. Um... Is it to be KRN? Hold on, I'll find out. I'll find out who it was. Yeah, no, WSMV Nashville. Right? And they done an article on Stephen. Is it Stephen Fisher? Yeah, it's Stephen Fisher, the private investigator. Which I don't trust because, as I said, he's online. I don't trust any investigator, private investigator, who's online. I don't. <sighs> My standing as a non-party opposer in this case arises from the plaintiff's attempts to secure a preliminary and permanent injunction, Fisher explains in his opposition, which would undermine the integrity of the investigation. By silencing media personalities. No, they're not trying to silence people. They are just trying to stop these people from being, from bullying and intimidation and harassment and maybe even stalking. We don't know. Right? Which would undermine the integrity of the investigation by silencing media personalities. They're not media anyway. The people that like got this injunction against them are not media. They are YouTubers, just like me and everyone else. Obstructing public dialogue and acquiring communications and data. That's what this is all about. These people do not want to give up their communications and data. Because if you remember, it said that they had to give up all their, or show all the text messages, give all the text messages and any phone logs and all that lot of people who they've been talking to, yep, involved in this case. Fisher states in the opposition, that is the only licensed the only licensed investigator involved in the search. How do you know that? How does he know he's the only just because he's out there on YouTube, TikTok, wherever, X talking about this doesn't mean there's not other private investigators out there. Right? Does not mean that there are oh god, this cat's are getting my head in tonight. Go. God. Right? Does not mean there's no other private investigators out there. So that's a bit being a bit arrogant. Involved in the searching. And at night media, dog the bounty hunters company has yet to set foot in Tennessee in, and use unlicensed personnel. Any legal tactics to gain information in cases. One, at night media employer, according to Fisher, is on parole and is barred from engaging, engaging with law enforcement in any capacity. Doesn't mean he can't talk about the case. Doesn't mean he can't give updates on the case. The initial motion for preliminary injunction was filed in Pennsylvania, where At Night Media is located. The motion was aimed at two people, one, who were using their social platforms to aid in the search for Sebastian. Well, I've been watching a certain YouTuber the past couple of days, and I've even gone back and watched some of their older ones. And I don't see anything there where she's talking about Sebastian in a positive way.
Right? Set. I don't see how she's been talking about Sebastian in a positive way. She hasn't. And if she has, it's, it's only what she, she feels is from Chris and Katie's, what Chris and Katie have said. Right? Seth Rogers and Dr. Bantam to claim the two and anyone else launching their own effort search efforts was an obstruction and were actually interfering in the search. Fisher disagrees. Hmm. Their legal activities as unlicensed investigators should not be protected and granting an injunction would harm the public interest by silencing critical reporting on a matter of public concern. No. They're not saying you cannot talk. How many times do we have to tell these people we're not saying, they are not saying they cannot talk about Sebastian Rogers. They are not saying that you cannot go out there and put post, uh, flyers out. You know, they're not saying none of that. They're saying stop the cyberbullying, stop the harassment, the intimidation, everything. Stop all that. You know what I mean? There's no need for all of that. Sebastian was reported missing on February the 26th after his mother and stepfather said he left their home in Hendersonville and never returned. Hmm, that's a question. Big question mark there. Sebastian reportedly, reportedly has autism. No, not reportedly. Sebastian has autism. And was last seen wearing black sw Now, this is what always gets me. This. Was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt, black sweatpants, and black square framed glasses, according to his family. Have you noticed anything in that? In that one short paragraph? Hmm? He was wearing black, black sweatshirt. Black sweatpants and black square frame glasses. It's all in black. All in black. Right, and that's what we got. So it says Seth Rogers and Dr. Banton to claim the two and anyone else launching their own search efforts was an obstruction and were actually interfering in the search. No, they're not claiming that. They're not claiming anything like that. Has he not read that? Right? Well, I'm going to put a video on. Some people may not like it, but I don't care. Right? I don't care no more because this has to stop. Right, hold on, I'll get it up. Right, this is what she put up seven hours ago. Hold on, let me just silent this a minute. Share this tab. You may not like it, but I'll we'll just get past that. Yeah. On my um, YouTube channel, I'll be downloading this. So I just wanted to come by, say hi to you guys. We're still advocating for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Listen. Did WSMV get pumped? I'm just curious because 
this Yahoo PI, which is not a legit, uh, he's licensed. Licensed and be, being legitimate are two totally different things. Uh, this illegitimate PI, because he's not private, he's public. He tries to say he works for people, and I don't know if he does or not. But I, I, I keep wondering if, 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 if WSMV is punked or they are just so in left field that they don't do their due diligence in their reporting, which is one of the reasons why I come on my social media, why I am part of alternative media. It's because of nonsense like this that gives good hearted um, journalists and, and um, news reporting bad names. This is an unsubstantiated, not saturated in any type of fact because what they're saying, they're claiming in their article that this private investigator has made a filing into our federal case. Well, that couldn't be any further from the truth. What am I talking about? So WSMV decided to put uh, this article up um, on their site. Now there's this article, I'm gonna read it for you. It says Hendersonville, Tennessee, Seth Rogers, father of 15 year old Sebastian Rogers recently joined Dwayne Dog Chapman in a filing of preliminary injunction against several people who have joined the search for the teenager. The injunction request cites interference and obstruction as the reason for the filing. One private investigator involved in the search I'm not going to say his name because this is a publicity stunt more so than anything else. They state filed a non-party opposition uh, to the injunction claiming he is actively engaged in the search of Sebastian Rogers. A preliminary and ultimate permanent would not would undermine the real search for the boy. That's what him and his organization and the people he's affiliated with have been doing and why he needs to get out of the case altogether. But hey, if he's being paid by uh, the mom and the stepfather to run interference and to have these salacious claims, they can deal with that on a different um, situation. But my thing is, is this WSMV report is stating that this is filed in the case. I would think that if somebody is going to run a report, a smear, a smear campaign or a counter um, uh, article, you would think it would be saturated in fact, which it is not. As you see, this is pulled this morning and there are three entries in this. There is a complaint, the preliminary injunction and the receipt for the case. That's what's in the file as of today. WSMV ran a story knowing knowing that this Yahoo did not file that into the case. This was all for smoke and mirrors. This is all um, nonsense, quite frankly, because if he had filed it correctly, you would see it right here. You do not see it. Let me move my, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my couch out of the way. Nothing's here. So why would they intentionally lie to their audience and the people that trust them to get their facts and reporting of the news there in their local area? Why would they intentionally and willfully lie? Now, they have the same case number. They have access to the same information, and they could have absolutely pulled all this information and chose not to do it, chose to run with the story, knowing that this is not uh, filed into the case. This to me is a PR stunt. This is a way to get this man's name in this uh, um, in this article. It's a way to smear and undermine this lawsuit. And WSMV, like I said, swampy area there in, in Hendersonville. And I have had high regard for some of, you know, I didn't like Channel 5, Nick Barris. I won't talk to him. Won't interview with him. Won't have anything to do with him. But, but WSMV is the, the um, news organization that gave us the green shirt interview. And just because somebody has a cute little covering, file covering over their uh, paperwork that they submit, they are acknowledging that it was filed into the court system and I pulled all of this crap this morning just to be on the safe side before I reported incorrectly to my audience. And clearly there are three items here, only three items here and nothing with a non-party opposition. And I don't know if he's going to actually be a non-party uh, with all of his um, statements that he's made without corroboration or any scintilla of evidence related to Seth. 
I find it awfully funny that this Yahoo, this private investigator is going around saying that Seth is a pedo and um, all this other nonsense related to Seth Rogers, the biological father of this missing boy. And yet he's waiting for a court, a court proceeding so he can get the evidence. Dude, you're saying it out of your mouth. You would think that if you're saying it out of your mouth, you would have the evidence to support the statements coming out of your mouth. But it says, my standing as a non-party opposer in this arises from the plaintiff's attempts to secure a preliminary and permanent injunction, Fisher explains in his opposition, which would undermine the integrity of the investigation. You mean like lying under oath, like your client's lying under oath? to secure a protective order, knowing damn well I've never threatened somebody, never even been around them, but that doesn't undermine this investigation. Okay, Cupcake. Again, we have W... Oh, don't. You can go back on her videos. On that one video she did when she's in Tennessee, and she was saying if anyone knows where they like to go, who, what their favourite place is to go and eat, that's where they got the stalking from, because she was asking her members to find out this information if they knew anything of where they like to go and eat, where they like to go, and just go, you know what I mean, to enjoy themselves, if they had any information on KT or CP, mainly CP, I think it was. So there is videos out there, so that's how they got the stalking and all that law and the harassment. Through those videos. SMV, we have just caught lying about um, this. what's going on in this case and literally um, taking everything this Yahoo says as truth, yet this filing is not in the federal filing and they are providing a report to their audience that this has been filed in the federal filing. Please produce the federal. And can someone else see the difference in that title? From that one, and this is WSMV, right, this is WSMV to this one, because I heard they had changed the title. I heard they had changed the title. And I was looking for that one. Black title, and I can find that one anywhere. If I go, I'll go, I'll go in and I'll go, what was it? WSMV National. WSMV National. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's just click this one. Now, let's just, I just want to check something here. Because I want to see, oh God's sake. Just go up there. I want to see what the wording is. I'm just checking to see if it's the same word. Yes, it's the same wording. All right. Just check the top part. Oh, for Christ's sake, it's just my head in when this happens. Uh, Helen did something else. Seth Rogers. Yeah. yeah. So this is the 
home. That free event was held the at the first of the Park. Talk After the break, high school teens stepping SMB up to combat four. drink spiking. We're going to share what inspired um, this teen to create a device SMB to prevent a potentially four. traumatic situation for teens and for adults. It's the same story. It's just different Nothing but sunshine and beautiful weather right now, but we see actually two, albeit small, opportunities will rain in your forecast. We'll time out both of them when we come back. Welcome back to Hong Tan. Get your first alert forecast and 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 get your first alert forecast Local. Always what? Free. Zim is America. And yet, there I said it. Zim, always local. Always oh, free. yeah, it's got, yeah. Sorry. When I take a roll on, so I take the title. So the title is wrong anyway on both of them. They haven't changed the title. And they should have. Because it's got Sebastian Rogers' father, Dog the Bank Counter. Oh, yeah. So I was just checking something and I just wanted to see the filing that this is filed in because it's not in our case. And that's what they're trying to say. But it was not about the truth. It was about giving this Yahoo a plug. Shame on WSMV for the reporting in this matter. Um, so I wanted to clarify all the information for you. We have been going through the case of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. The uh, reward has been increased to $125,000, $125,000. We can thank Dog the Bounty Hunter along with Nick the Hat for their amazing contribution in trying to find answers um, in this case of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. I can tell you that his father is desperately missing his son. And with every passing day, it gets a little harder and a little harder for him, as you guys can imagine. And to have to be dealing with all this from these yahoos is ridiculous. Uh, being called a pedo when you're just trying to find your son. You've never broken a law. You're a deputy sheriff. You weren't even, they're making allegations that he did something with Katie back when she was a kid or whatever like that. Do you guys know that the time frame that they are talking about, Katie what? Katie and, and Seth weren't even living in the same state? Weren't even living in the same state. Kind of hard to, to do the kinds of things that um, this Yahoo is implying were done when they weren't even in the same stinking state. Don't yeah, I will pull up what he put on his ex account. This is what he put on his ex account a few days ago. It says, to clarify, the purpose of my opposition is not to dismiss their entire complaint, but specifically to challenge the part seeking preliminary injunctive relief. I want the complaint to proceed because it will lead to Seth Rogers being charged with sex crimes against a minor. In my opinion, there is no worse crime in the world than SA and Ring an underage person unable to legally consent. R, P, I, S, T, S, and S, O should not walk freely amongst us. And as of now, Seth Rogers is walking free. So he's accusing him. What does he mean by minor? Is he on about Sebastian? Or is he on about Katie? Because I know for a fact, if that was the case, if it was with Katie, that is not true because her grand her uncle, she doted on her uncle, and Seth actually went and asked for his hand, for his uh, Katie's hand in marriage to her uncle first before asking Kate to get if she would marry him. Right now, if he'd been essaying his niece Seth had been essaying 
Katie, do you think the uncle will just say, oh yes, you can have her hand in marriage? No, I think he will get got the shotgun out the cupboard from above the door and chased him off the feckin' property. Although I don't expect any legitimate journalist to turn, so he's saying as well, he doesn't believe there'll be any legitimate journalist. Yet, who does he go to speak to? Who does he go to speak to? Right? Yes. And mainstream media. If any do, I hope they ask whether Seth will be will, will admit to his sex crimes against minors. And if he's saying it's against Seb Se Sebastian, well, as BHB is sex dated, right? When these crimes are supposed to have happened, Seth and Katie are already split up. There was a case of sex crime against Sebastian, and I think it was an, an older lad who they used to let come home, round to their home and sit and play with Sebastian, who was, I believe, six or seven at the time. Katie and Chris would let that lad into their home. Seth wasn't there. So if that is what he's on about, then he's totally out of order. And he's totally out of order with Katie as well. And if this is the case, if it's against Katie, then why doesn't Katie speak up and say, look, this is not true. Will you stop saying this about Seth? It's not true. She could put a stop to all that. She really could. Because I really can't see her uncle saying, yes, she can have her hand in marriage. If he'd been essaying his niece, if Seth had been essaying Haiti, like I said, he'd get the shotgun above his door and chase him off his property, possibly. So. Don't you guys agree that you need to be in close proximity, like face to face with one another, uh, to 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 do these acts that this this bunk PI is stating? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You take it for what you will. Take it for what you will. But um, I don't think he is necessarily a um, a non-party in all of this. I think he's part of the problem. Um, I think he's he's uh, passing around bunk and um, un unsubstantiated claims with no facts to support them. And I think you guys need to understand what's the difference is if you're going to say somebody is a pedo, uh, you should have the evidence in your possession, custody, and control that... Um, yes, if you're going to put out that information, then you need to have the evidence. Right, you need to have the evidence. And if it's the one where people are saying, oh, he, he essayed, he was a... Katie is still a minor when Seth knew her and all that. Like, if it's that story, then he needs Katie to back him up. Which I don't think she will. And if it's about Sebastian, then... Whoa, he's way off there. Way off. He's way off with Katie, but with Sebastian? No. Show us the proof. Um, suggest that. You shouldn't you shouldn't allege it and then ask for the collection of evidence to support it. Yeah. And that's kind of where this whole um uh true crime TikTok and YouTube thing has been going. It's like, oh, people can just say whatever they want out of their mouth without any supporting evidence. And then it's like, oh, well, you need to, see, to send us the receipts to prove us wrong. No, you need to have the receipts before you open your mouth and say something is fact when you don't have the receipts to support something is fact. And that's what we've been dealing with on these uh, social media platforms. That is true. You, 
if I was to say, put something out there about someone in this case, right? I need to have their proof in writing in front of me. Right? So I can say, here it is, I've got the proof. Right? I've got the proof in my lap. Sitting here, in front of me. You cannot put something out there like Bullhorn Betty has said and then expect people to come forward and say, yes, this did happen. You know what I mean? That isn't how it works. You cannot. That is slander. Do you know that could lose Seth his job by him putting that out there? I put it on my channel because it's up being out on his ex account and other people have already spoken about it before me. Because of the timeline, time difference, I'm always something like 12 hours behind on everything, if not more, longer. So, you need the proof, and she'll say the same I now. do boots on the ground. I get the facts. I don't open my mouth and say something's factual unless it's in my hot little hands, and I can turn it around and say, see? You know, so we've got to be smarter about this. Shame on WSMV for running this bunk story yep. without doing one scintilla of fact finding or research to find out whether this Yahoo is being true. He played them for a PR stunt and they willingly helped him do it. So I thought this was an important uh, story to run this morning about the failures of, of mainstream media in times like this. We have good mainstream media that do their due diligence before they run the story. And then we have crack pots who 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 did this story tony garcia tony garcia decided to run this story without doing one scintilla of uh, fact finding so tony you're in the hot seat do better in your reporting to your area that relies on you to have the correct facts um this was not filed this uh is just a bunch of papers he sent to you don't know what to say you were fooled get it right next time but I think a correction is absolutely necessary in a situation like this. Guys, we will be on our YouTube channel for most of the day today. I'm still recovering from Helene as well as Milton. Um, right. That's all I wanted to show you on that. Right? And it's true. You cannot go around throwing accusations like that out without having the proof. I read through his, um, hold on. No, go away. He'd be naughty, don't eat your dinner. Right, I read through this. Right, we've read through it the other night. And, to be honest with you, I think it's a pile of BS. Alright? Because it go, hold on, I'll go down a bit, because like, I was so angry the other day reading this. According to their complaint, Hasfield had been explicitly barred from engaging with law enforcement in any capacity. Well, he hasn't. How does he know he's been engaging with law enforcement? He's not even in the same state as Dog. Or at night media, I believe. Right? So, what he does is... Dog will have meetings with law enforcement, maybe, or whoever. Yeah, with the with that night media and everything like that. He then talks to Nick on the phone. Nick then puts that information out. He's not talking to law enforcement. He's just putting out the information he's being told by Dog or someone else in that organization right so to say he's engaging with law enforcement 
he has been reminded to make, and that's another thing, this. Um, this. Reminded to her mental health care. No. If you read that filing, if you've been to my Discord account, right? There. You you click on that, go to my Discord, it's got a link. You click on that link, it opens up another page, into another page. Scroll down the page and you find two PDFs. One with the um what is it called oh i'll find out what it's called you got at me at night media llcv2 petition right and then you got the pdf with the exhibits Download, open, click on them and download them and read them yourselves. Don't take my word for it. As I say, always do your own checks first. Why? I might be wrong. And if I am, please tell me if I'm wrong. Because I'd like to apologise if I am wrong. Right, so. Just go to that link and you click on goes to um I don't know, I'll open up the page and I'll show you because I've got separate pages for each case if there's any files involved in a case this is where I put my files right Right, and that's what you, that's my general page. But when you click on the link that is in, that I've got up there, this is where you come to, and it's Sebastian Rogers, right? right. Click on this link there, it's a big link. Click on it. You then go to this page, scroll down, and that's where you've got the At Night Media LLC v Truth RL Pet Per Preliminary PDF and Exhibits 1 six to 63 PDF. Right? Click on each one of them and it will download to your laptop or your computer, and you can read them and see them for yourselves. Right, so, so, what am I doing? I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, that's what I'm looking at. Right, but to say he has been reminded to mental health care, now, if that isn't true, that's slander again. I don't know how true it is. I don't believe it is true. But if it isn't true, if it is true, or it isn't true, I should say, then that's defamation of character. That's saying he's not mentally right up here. That's slanderous. Because it says this not only undermines his credibility, but also further demonstrates that the plaintiffs have no standing to act in any investigative capacity. The plaintiffs are not investigators. They have said 
they are not investigators. They hire PIs, licensed PIs, but they don't investigate. Jog himself has said he doesn't investigate, he hunts. He's a hunter. As recently as two hours before the filing of this opposition, plaintiff Nick, whatever, Nick the Hat, despite being represented by counsel, released a video on the internet in which he attempted to intimidate others covering the case of Sebastian Rogers with threats of similar legal. Right? Let's see if I can pull that up, shall I? I'm not sure if I've got it in my downloads. I think I have. When it opens up. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, this is it. Right. Share this. We'll watch this, okay? It's only four minutes long. Make sure you can see this. Yes, um... Oh, I've got where am I now? Over here. It's okay, I've got so many windows open, I need to shut some. Um... Let's lighten this. And let's go. In the first round of litigation that just went out, um, I guess that's our first shot fired. It's the first of many. Again, we are filing 10 lawsuits in 10 different states with the intent to combine them all together and make them federal. Um, enough is enough. This is about cyberbullying that has deterred the case. And I can see that more bullies are coming on board. I welcome you to submit your moans with the court. They would love to hear from you. Trust me. Uh, it'll make our jobs easier too. So go ahead and file that. Um, be sure to follow the procedures and whatnot. I would call an attorney in Pennsylvania if you're going to file a motion in Pennsylvania because it's much different. Um, but nevertheless, guys, we are going to 10 states with this. Pennsylvania is first for obvious reasons. signed 13 miles away from the courthouse where we intend to bring these people. Um, and there's a lot of them. It's not just barbecue lady. It's not just granny is watching. Um, those are two lead defendants and you'll see mommy, um, lots more. There are 50 people we intend to bring in and we intend to litigate to the end is I think there's discovery and stuff like this. You guys are funny. This is not a discovery type of case. We're not asking for money. Um, this is an injunction. And if you know what an injunction is great, if you don't great, um, it's not something to play games with. At the end of the day, we are not going to stop until Sebastian is found. The bullies are really working overtime to stop that. And it doesn't work, right? Uh, you guys can't really stop it. All the troll accounts, we sent out subpoenas to X. We sent out subpoenas to YouTube, Google, Alphabet Inc. and Meta. All of the troll accounts, we're getting their IP addresses. We're going to match them back to those that own the, the troll accounts. From there, those individuals will be dragged through and brought into Pennsylvania or California or Tennessee, whichever jurisdiction they are in. Um, again, we are going to be filing in 10 different states, 10 different lawsuits with the intent to make them federal. The goal here is to stop the nonsense, find Sebastian Rogers, and we will. Um, once these guns get out of the way, once these keyboard warriors get out of the way, Sebastian will come home. Again, guys, stay safe. Uh, remain vigilant. We're under the assumption that Sebastian Rogers is alive. Again, we are operating under that assumption. If you see something, obviously alert authorities and uh, remain safe. Stop the bullying. Stop the doxing. Stop all of that. It's not worth it. It's not worth the money that you're going to be spending in litigation. It's really not. Um, we just started and it's a, a rather big bill on our end. So I can't imagine the other end. So guys, again, all we're asking for is for some civility here. Uh, we're not asking for money. If these individuals were to agree tomorrow to the terms, which include to stop bullying, Tuesday, we would have the, the agreement. And then Wednesday, the judge will review the agreement and decide whether or not she or he wants to accept it. The judge may very well say, no, I'm not accepting this. I want those women to appear before me so I can see what's going on. Um, but nevertheless, 
settlement, when we say settlement, that's what that entails. It means that you agree to stop what you are doing and the court will issue an order with that settlement, making it a court ordered agreement, making any more headspace for bullying, not, not a thing. Um, it's not just for the defendants in this case. It's not just for the plaintiffs in this case. If these defendants go and start targeting other people, call us. Um, if you've been a victim of any of these doxing individuals, call us. You can email doxing at, at night.agency, and we will obviously investigate your claims and streamline them to the attorneys. Um, this is becoming a class action suit against a lot of individuals. There are many more plaintiffs that have been that, that haven't been named yet. It's closer to 20. Um, and these are also entities, organizations that are joining us to stop the bullying. It's National Cyber Bullying Prevention Awareness Month. I got that backwards, but it has something to do with bullying awareness this month. Again, guys, if you see something, say something, feel free to report people if they're doxing you to us now, now that we are getting um, the, the engines are taking off. It's not too late to join in as a plaintiff. If you've been attacked, you have a, you have rights, right? There are laws, there are boundaries. They must respect those boundaries or they'll be brought in and they can explain it to the judge. Again, guys, stay safe, stay vigilant. If you see something, say something and good luck. Uh, so he wasn't, I won't say, this is just information he's been told, right? He's not talking to law enforcement. He's not. He's just put, he's doing what he's told to do, which is put these videos out there, right? He is putting these videos out there and it is getting them scared. As you can tell in that injunction. Right? In this injunction. Right? Yes, he did say that. He did say, he further state that the defendants in the current action complied with the request for injunction relief. The case would be settled and the judge would approve it on Wednesday. However, he also did say the judge may not want to. He may want to see these women to see what the hell is going on. But, they will vote the court and say, you know, this is what the deal is, sort of thing. And then he goes on to say, this is particularly worrisome, considering that Nicola Hatt has repeatedly mentioned that co-counsel for the plaintiff is a former general in Pennsylvania. Yes, he is a former attorney general. Why can't he say that? He is a former attorney general. Why? The language and candidates used in his video could easily be interpreted as threatening. No, he's saying that, look, this is an attorney general who's taking this case on. It's not threatening. It's just letting them know this is an attorney general. It's not a two-bit lawyer, attorney, down, down the road. <coughs> <coughs> he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's saying. While well, this non-party opposer does not believe this to be the oh, no. it's claim it's claim that the judge will rule in favour of the plaintiffs on Wednesday gives the impression that at night is leveraging it in co counsel's form of governmental connection to gain an unfair advantage in this case. No, he's saying, look about just do what we're asking. That's all what do what all he's asking is that you do what has been asked of you? Do this by Tuesday, so they can hand it in on Wednesday. The judge will see it. He just missed the case. Why? But they haven't. So it has been, as we've just seen on BHB, it has been put in. We'll wait to see what SF says now, what he comes back out with. 
Because he'll come out with something. He will. I have actually been keeping an eye on X all day on his account. Why? As soon as this is over, we won't. Right, I've been sh look, checking his account all day to see if anything new has come out. I appreciate WSMV correcting the headline. Thank you. This is something I did want to show you. Just to be clear, I did not say I was the only one really looking for Sebastian. I did not do an interview. They are implying that from my filing. So they're getting this information from his filing. In my filing, I stated that legit, that legit, she, Legitimate search teams and some EMA, TBI, FBI, SCSO, Equisearch and others were searching, not to mention Crab, Clue, Cletus and others that I publicly said I was searching with. I said that none of the legitimate search teams were claiming interference, including myself. Well, they're not going to interfere with all these some some of like EMA and TBI, FBI, SCSO. They're not, are they? Unless they say something they don't like. Right. Again, it's got the same search. Right. But there's been nothing put up, only that. But I don't see how correct. I don't see the headline was the same on both. Right? The headline was the same on both channels. Private investigator responds to injunction from Sebastian Rogers' father, dog, the bounty hunter. And that's the same as what it's got here. So don't see how the title has been changed. I'm not seeing no new change of title. So, I just don't understand where they've changed the title because both titles on both WSM, WSMV4 are the same. There's that one, and then I'm going to pull up this one. Alright. It's the same title. Private investigate responds to injunction from Sebastian's father, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Um, it's the same story. You know what I mean? By Tony Garcia. Right, Tony Garcia. Share this one. Story by Tony Garcia. The same story, same headline. So, 
So, I don't know what's going on, but to me, I can't see any headline different. And the one ball and ball on Betty's was the same headline. Then. Oh, make sure I've got all the volumes turned off on these things. Yeah. So, it's confusing when you see that message, thank you for changing the headline, because the headline on both of them are the same, and it's by the same reporter. And I found this this afternoon. Right? So it should have been changed by then. If that was the case. But it hasn't. Not like I can see. Same story. Same headline. Same reporter. On both, both of those reports I pull up. For WSMV4. WSMV Nashville, WSMV4. Right? But either way, let's just close some of these windows down. Too many open. All right. But either way, you cannot go round saying what he did. Let's get this back up again. Sorry, I'm going from page to page. Um, Page to page, I'm sorry. Hany Clear had conducts both in his videos and through these public statements raised a serious concerns about its intent to weaponize the league. How is he weaponizing the legal system? He's stating that if they if they had complied by Tuesday. They would have gone into court then on Wednesday, put that ruling in front of the judge, and they said, this, why? They have complied. We want to dis please dismiss this case. It's then up to the judge if he dismisses it or not. He probably would have dismissed it. Because if I was a judge, I'd be going, what? Another court case? Another injunction or whatever? Involving the missing child, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near those court cases. Right? He goes on to say about Wayne Dogman, Dog Chapman, Chapman. He's not a lot. We know he's not. He's never said he was a private investigator. And then he goes on about Andrea Griffin, which is BHB, and her four protective orders issued against her. That is a totally separate case, which she's fighting at the moment. She wants it. I, from what I can make out, I believe they're trying to go into another state or um, another court. Because she thinks this state, Sonia County state, is very biased towards her. The police are. But I don't think... She wants a judge that isn't going to be biased. And I think the judge might be biased. You know what I mean? It's... It's a joke what is going is going on about Seth. 
This is another thing that got me. Huh? This, as a young custodial parent. Seth Rogers is 50-50 co-parenting. He is not a non-custodial, he is a custodial parent. He has him two week, every every second weekend. He phones him during the week, right? When he comes home from school, when he knows he's home from school and he's doing all his chores, he'll give him a call. Probably when he's having a break at work, maybe. Or probably before he goes to work, because I believe he starts at 7, so he probably phoned before he went to work, just to see how Sebastian was and all this lot. And he'd have him during the summer holidays and all the other holidays, whenever. Right? He was not a non-custodial parent. It wasn't like an absent father. He was in his life. His mother and his stepfather even said that in the very first interview. Seth Rogers lacks the authority to pursue this. He doesn't. He's got every authority to pursue this legal claim. So show your proof, SF. Investigate. Show your proof that he's not a non-custodial parent. Because I swear to God, if I was a judge, I'd be wanting to see all that. You're claiming he's a non-custodial. Where's your proof? In this, he brings up the uh, how he does the Tony Mathis did the late night two AM chat sessions with females interested in the case on TikTok, where he's infamous for his inappropriate behaviour, including expo exposing himself during his live stream. Now, as I said, he had. You know, I I had my picture up. Yeah. I had my thumbnail picture up. My profile picture. That's what he had up on his TikTok page. Yeah, apparently, and we all saw it, some puppet like, it's like a shadowy figure comes in at the edge of the screen. How can that happen when he's got a, like his profile picture up? It happened, but we don't know how. And they're trying to say, oh, it was uh, Tony, you know what I mean? How? He had a profile picture up. You know what I mean? I cannot get anything behind my profile picture. So how is he going to get anything to shadow behind that profile picture? How? Right, and he goes on to say about um, this conduct further calls into the question his credibility and suitability to act in any professional or public facing role in this case. Mathis' actions, far from assisting the investigation, appear to be self serving and designed to garner attention rather than aiding any meaningful resolution of the case. A bit like yourself, then, SF. All right, Mr. Fisher. A bit like yourself. You've your name was mentioned in that injunction, but you haven't been served the papers. You have not been served. Right? I don't know if you got a cease and desist. I don't know. If he did, then he will be served. And he's not helping the case by doing what he's doing. Is again. Imposing himself in on the case. Wanting to know what's going on, what's being said. People like that make me very suspicious. Very suspicious. Why does he need to know everything that's going on in the case? He's a private investigator online. I don't like online private investigators, I really don't. And then he goes on to attack Julie Valantes. Right? All because... All because of this. 
Valantis failure to prove proof of her military credentials or involvement in combat combat operations reasonably opens her up to questioning. Why does she need to prove to me, you or anyone, her credentials? She showed SCSO, she showed TBI. She doesn't need to show you or anyone else her credentials. That's what makes me so mad in this case, when he says that about her. And then it says, has reviewed, reviewed text messages sent by Valenti in which she falsely claims that our commanding officer in the military is taking over the... Oh, like Moreover, this non-party opposer, like himself, has reviewed text messages hmm, sent by Valenti in which she falsely claims that her commanding officer... Where's your proof? Why are not in your exhibit? Why are those text messages that you have used not in your text mess in your exhibits? Because they're not true. They're not there. Right? So none of this he can prove. Because as I said, everything he says is a load of BS in my opinion. This is all to text messages. Hold on. I'm gonna I've got a text message, right? On my phone. I'm just gonna see if I can hold it. Alright, let's go to my text messages. Alright. Messages. That's my text messages. Right, let's see if I can alter that one. Mm -hmm. I can alter that. I can change the colours. I can archive it. I can delete it. I can search, search. No, I can't do that. Okay. I can't change text messages, so I don't know how you can change a text message. So, how can you say Valenti has also sent what appears to be altered text messages? Hold on. Because I don't see how you can alter a text message. I know you can alter, no, say you've got a photo, right, and you've got your pictures. I know you can alter them. You can go to edit. No. no. Hang on. No, hang on. Cancel. Oh, no, I can. Yeah. I can go in and alter the date. And where it was took. The date it was took, right? The time it was took. And even change the destination of where it was took. That's on a picture. Right? I can do all that. Right? But I don't see how you can appear to, to have altered text messages. That doesn't make sense to me. So, I, if I was a judge, I'd be going, after reading this, I'd be going, okay. And I'd be doing the same with my phone as what I've just done there. I was just up again. How can you alter text messages? You know what I mean? Can you alter text messages? How can you do that? Well, 
You know what I mean? This is his, her career he's messing about with. And that's, he's dangerous. He needs stopping because he's, this is getting out of hand. That's dangerous. The plaintiffs are on laws. They've never said they're investigators. Never. Not once have they said they are investigators. And those cannot claim that they are being that they are being interfered with in an investigation. Okay, just because they're not an investigator it doesn't mean they can't look into a case. But because they are looking into a case, they've got people threatening them, harassing them, going to their homes, following them maybe, stalking them. Right? It doesn't mean they cannot look into the case. I'm not an investigator, but I look into this case. And that's what exactly they're doing. And by what these so-called YouTubers or TikTokers allegedly have done, they are impeding the investigation in the fact that they can't go out and search because they are being followed, they've had tires slashed, they've had people driving past their homes, they've had threats come to them, email, through email, they've had messages, text messages, everything, threatening them and their family. Telling like, one woman to, like, I read one the other day and it said um, how she had a message saying she was told, where did I read that? It was on a... Facebook, and this woman said she was told, I'm sure it was on a Facebook page, she was told to go and kill herself. How many people have said that in a text message and then the next day that person's found, been found dead? Right? Look at that case in America with that young girl with her boyfriend who encouraged him to get back in that car knowing that car was filling up with car fumes encouraged him you've got to do it now you've started it you need to finish it or something like that look how many children have killed themselves because they've had a message come through on their um, facebook messenger well you'd be better off dead no one wants you you're just a piece of issue stuff like that how many people have killed themselves by having their messages on their messenger, on their text messages, on their phone? Right? They have, and they've got the proof of all those text messages. So, for them to say they don't have a, a standing... And the fact that they're saying that the photo, it was filed in Pennsylvania, but the central events concerning the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers took place in Tennessee. Yes, we all know that. But the two people that have been named, these two, oh, is it not going to let me do it? These two? Oh, God, no. No, no. Get the rubber. back. Mom? Not giving it. These two, here, let's draw a line, shall we? Getting red. These two here. Live in Pennsylvania. 
That's why they're doing these two first. Because their main office is in Pennsylvania. They live in Pennsylvania. And so does Valenti. She lives in Pennsylvania. And they've been going after her, the dog hangler. Which I think is disgusting. But it's got to stop. When will this... It is a civil case as well. Right? When will all this end? When will people realise you cannot go round? I'll tell you something, I keep hearing a beep, 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 and it's doing my fucking head in. I've been hearing it for weeks now. I know outside by me, they've got traffic lights. They shouldn't be beep, 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 beeping like that all, all fucking day. Anyway, come off the subject then, didn't I? So, it's got to stop. They can't keep doing this. And that's why they're doing, taking it to court now. They're not saying that these people, Stephanie and Jessica, Cannot talk about Sebastian Rogers. Even BHB has said, if they want to look at my videos, my lives, and rip it to pieces, and they don't like how I talk, how they don't like how I do this, or whatever, then that's fine. Just stop the bullying. Stop the intimidation, the, the nasty messages, the vile messages, and all that. Like, just stop it. And if you're not doing it, then get your members to do it. Just stop. Stop it. And just say, look, if I find out um, anyone in my, who is a member on my page is doing this, is contacting them, sending threatening messages, harassing them, or anything like that, I will ban you from my page. Simple as. Instead of encouraging it, tell them you will ban them from their pa your page if they carry on. But like Nick said, you got your IP address. They can track those people. So it's not just YouTubers they're going after. They will go after members, subscribers. You know what I mean? Now go after them. And these people won't have the money to fight in court. But they will go after them if they have to. So it wouldn't surprise me if later on, because I think what the, at the moment is they're dealing with these two first, right? Because at the moment they're trying to, they've got to find lawyers in these 10 states, right, to take the cases on. They've got fine lawyers who will be prepared to take these cases on in their states, like in California or wherever it is, Florida. Yeah, they need to find lawyers in those states, and then they have to, each state, their laws are different. So they have to look at each case in each country, in each state. And go, look, we can't go RICO here. We can't do RICO here on those charges. But we can do this, this, or this. You know what I mean? But it just so happens in Pennsylvania, they can do RICO on those charges. But some, it's, I suppose it'd be the same as a RICO, but just a different naming. Yeah? So. Let's see what happens, because they, I heard they was going after um, Channel 2, right, because apparently they don't like Channel 2 reporting on Sebastian Rogers. Why? He's a child, he's 15 years old, what's that lag ever done? What has that lag ever, ever done? 
what's this lad ever done in his life? In his, in his 15 years of life, coming up to 16 in December, what's he ever done? Why? Why are people hindering a case where all we want to do is find him? And being the people responsible for A, allegedly either his disappearance, such as kidnapping or whatever, abduction, whatever they want to call it, or fully unaliving. That's all they want to do, is bring him home, find him and bring him home. Then, then, once we've done that, then the blame game can begin. The blame game can begin. But at the moment, the blame game seems to be happening now. Where really, we don't know what has happened to Sebastian. Oh God, we would love to know what has happened. You know, when he first went missing, it was a bit like Elisha Vu. Every day, I was getting up, And at one stage, there was Elisha Vu, um, Audrey Cunningham, what was Audrey Cunningham? No, I think we found Audrey Cunningham by then, I'm not sure, but there was, I know there was Elisha Vu, oh that was it, Elisha Vu, um, Magdalene Soto, and Sebastian Rogers. Every morning, I would wake up, grab my coffee, sit down, turn my TV on, YouTube, anything, just scrolling through all the channels to see if there was anything on those cases. Anything. And that's what I'm like still now. Not so much now, because I've only got this one case, which is Sebastian. I still scroll through and I go, go come online and I check for any updates on the other three cases, like court cases and things like that. I do all that every morning and every afternoon because of the time difference. So I tend to check around about 3 p.m. and in the afternoon and I think it's... Uh, was it six? It's normally before I come on and do a live, I do a check of any updates. But I also do a check first thing in the morning in case anything came through the night before. And that is what I'm like every morning. Oh, my cat is moaning. Oh, God. Does anyone want a cat that moans? And I mean moans 24-7. The only time he doesn't moan is when he's fucking sleeping. And if I have, if he has his way, he'd probably do it in his sleep. He'd probably start moaning in his sleep. And if that fucking happens, he's going. He's going. <laughs> no, I love him. He's my baby boy, aren't you, Toby? No, you're not my baby boy. Come on, Mum. Right. So, but just... Hinder a cat. I have never, even Summer Moon Utah. Wow, well, has been the YouTubers never had anything like this. You know what I mean? Where people were hindering YouTubers from putting information out there and everything. No one was hindering cases, a case like this. Why is this? Why aren't the mother? Why is the mother and the stepfather not speaking up? They say, keep putting the flyers out there, keep talking about him, keep saying his name. But they're not standing up for him. They don't, when it comes to anything like this, you've not heard a thing of Katie. You could get, she could come online and go do a short video somewhere, right? Do it with, I don't know, a channel she trusts. Like Duchess, go on her channel, right? And say, look, I need all this to stop. 
This is my 15 year old son we are trying to find. Stop with the cyber bullying, stop with the harassment, stop with the intimidation, stop with the stalking, stop with going to people's homes, everything. Just stop it. Right? But they don't even come out and say nothing. Why not? Why don't they come out and say something? And so they can say, just keep putting flyers out there and looking for him and saying his name. Well, people keep putting flyers out there and these flyers are getting took down. So what else are they supposed to do? At least we've informed, well, not we, but some YouTuber, certain YouTuber has informed several, two states to my knowledge, two states, US states, that your son is missing. And one of them was where you was camp, where you had your five wheeler. The law enforcement didn't even know your son was missing in that state. And yet you said to Nancy Christ, well, he could be anywhere. Well, why didn't you go to the law enforcement when you first went down there after three, three weeks of being at home? After your son went missing, you went down there. Why didn't you go to law enforcement then and inquire? Did they know about your son being missing? Seth, as said, kept saying, the states out there, law enforcement officers, sheriff's officers that do not know about his son being missing. So if you're in a, anywhere in the US, you know, and you're watching this, print off this flyer. Just print it off. One, you only need to print off one. And go to your local law enforcement. Be pre police, PD, or sheriff's department and ask them, do you know about Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, 15-year-old autistic lad who went missing on the 26th, was reported missing on the 26th of February 2024. If they say no, say, well, can I leave this flyer here so you can put it up on your notice board or whatever you do, wherever you put them. That's all we got to do. Just inform your local police. Okay? Just inform your local police. I can't. I live in the UK. I wish to God I could. Because I'd be on the phone, phoning every state, every sheriff's office, every police department in that state or like wherever, asking them, you know, well, can I email, can I email you? the uh, picture, the flyer, so you can print it off and put it up. So your officers know who to, who to look for, keep an eye out for. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. But she didn't even go to the local police. Why? So Katie, why don't you come out now and do an interview, do it with the news media if you need, if you don't want to go on YouTube, don't. Do it with a news media channel. Do it with this one, the one that put out the false information about your son and about your son's missing case. Do it about that one. And tell, say, look, we are talking about my 15-year-old son here. We need to find him. We don't need people being threatened and harassed. They are there to help online, help trying to get his name out there. Just stop it. Oh, that's all she's got to do. She could also come out and say about Seth, stop with calling him the P, P word. The SO. Right? Because that is not true. That will come from her. That will shut them all up. But she won't. She won't. So, yeah, it must be those traffic lights, the beep, 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 and stuff. I said, I've got like a ringing now in my ears. Oh, God. So, that's all it takes. Just come out, Katie. 
and speak and tell everyone to stop with this bullying and intimidation, cyberbullying, intimidation, harassment, stalking. You just took BHB to court for a protection order because you felt scared, right? You felt scared. So just come out and speak up for your son. Do something for your son. And put a stop to all this with one, one interview. One interview with a mainstream media outlet. One interview. And put a stop to all this. Then if they don't listen to you, at least then you can say, I don't know what else to do. I've been and put out. I've been and spoke out about this to stop. They're not listening to me. They're not working for me. They're not listening to me. They are continuing. I can't do, I don't know what else to do. At least you can say that then. At the moment, though, because you're not saying nothing, people are running conclusions again, running ahead of themselves and believing that you and Chris have something to do with all this cyberbullying, that you are in co cahoots with these YouTubers. Just come out, Katie, to an MSN, MSM news outlet, mainstream media news outlet, and tell these YouTubers to stop, that what they are doing is wrong, they are not doing it in your name, they're not doing it in Chris, just say it, say something, stop hiding, you're a grown-ass woman, who apparently... So Chris keeps saying, can speak for herself. So speak for yourself. Do something for your son and put a stop to this. Come out and say, look, stop it now. You stop what you're doing, these indictments will go away. These injunctions will go away. Just stop it. That's all she's got to do. Anyway. I will not, unless something happens tomorrow, I'm not sure if they've got a court date on somewhere. I did write down a court case in my book somewhere. Um, I will not be on because I have got my grandson tomorrow night till Sunday afternoon when I take him home. I will be keeping up to date. So please, if you're not a member, um... If you're not on my YouTube yet and you don't follow me on YouTube and you're here watching, subscribe. So then you'll see the messages that I put up on my community tab. I will keep Twitter updated, X updated. And if I get any information, any paperwork, I'll put a mention out there. I'll put a call out saying new information. With, and I'll put it on the link. So you can click on the link to get the information. Okay? I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for being here tonight. Please, that is the Discord. Just go there. Keep clicking on the links until you get to the page where you've got all the two PDFs. Okay? Anyway, I would just like to say thank you for being here thank you for listening please show me some love on this on the x channel please give this video a like on youtube it just helped with the analytics so they keep saying uh what else please leave a comment let me know your opinions i love reading the opinions your views right and i will see you all Maybe tomorrow night, depending. But definitely Sunday. So till then, stay safe. I'll be good. Stay safe.
I forgot something. I forgot something. Hold on, I've just got to get rid of this. I'm not rid of it, just take this picture down. Turn it off the screen. I forgot to play my video. I always like to play for Sebastian when I come in. So we'll play it on the way out. Okay. Good night, everyone.